In last video we talked about how to create REST APIs using Django serializers and functions. In this video I am going to convert this all function based views to class based views. So as we have used class based views in Django, same Django REST framework also provides one view that can be extended and we can use that for creating APIs. So just we need to change this functions to class based right so what happens when we convert into the class based so similar to this view we have api view right let me show you that look at this django views generic import view right that view we, we were extending for normal django web pages but now we are creating apis and similar to that view django rest framework provides api view that we need to extend so let's extend first so instead of function we need to write one class so class name must be unique for this page for this view then actually poll view already we have used uh, for web page then what we can do poll api view okay so we need to create two classes one for normal views which which require only single uh, url in which no id is required right let's say for example if you want all can all list of uh, all polls in a single list then we don't need any kind of id right we just fire the url slash poll and if you want to create any new poll in that case also we don't need id because that id is going to be generated when we pass the data right so this is the poll api view and we just need to extend so we need to write this class then similar to uh, normal view it also checks what is the method is called in the web request so if is it a get method then it will call get method here and instead of just request this time this is class method class property so self is required in method and then request object so this request object and the, this request object both are different this request object is modified by django while it is calling get method when it is when it is built it's built in api view class so it's modified it uh, creates object according to risk framework's requirement right so you will understand more when you will use this so if you want to see all the properties of request then you can print it out and same way you can print this request object in this pool itself so both way you will understand what is the difference between those two so right now so this is the same right and what we need to do we need to just copy these three lines we don't need to do anything else right questions is required so it will give you a list then we need to apply into the serializer with many of many uh, argument so it should be true because it's a query set it will give you serialized data it, that means it will has a data property that can be a order, order dict and when you pass this json response yes one more thing i wanted to explain here that is instead of json response or http response Django REST framework provides us common class which can be useful to return the data. So that is normal just response. I have already imported here. Yeah, here it is. From REST framework dot response import response, right? And slash dot data, and then safe dot false is uh, safe is equal to false is no more required here you can also pass status is equal to whatever status you want to pass if you don't pass anything it will by default 200 okay so get api is ready i mean get method is ready for get api then what we can add here one more that is post so whenever post data uh, post uh, method will be called into the web request this post uh, this post method will be called automatically by api view so self request and all post data will be 
added as a property into request that is data so you need to get the data is equal to request dot data if you want to modify something if you want to add something into the data dictionary then you can just assign to data and modify it okay then so look at this method post what we have done json parser we created object and then parse into the json right so that is no more required because that is already passed in request dot data so we need to use just as it is now what we need to do we need to just copy these lines this five lines here data is equal to data it will as we have passed if passed in the data is equal to data that means in uh, Silazer knows what we are trying to do we want to create a new object right and if we pass instance as a first argument then also it will understand that is so instance is there data is there that means I want to update right user wants to update the data so that way it will react okay so yeah instead of json response we need to change to response and this is it okay so similar to that normal uh, response uh, json response it will work the same okay so this is for getting API uh, getting uh, all the questions all the polls and creating a new poll okay now uh, let's first check it out this API is working or not so for that first we need to change URL here I'm not going to change this I will keep there because if someone wants to look at that actually I'm going to upload this uh, code uh, to the uh, github itself I have this code is already available to github okay so maybe I will push uh, put the link again uh, into comments uh, description section okay uh, so what we need to do here we need to assign a class instead of method so what is that poll api view uh, as it is a class we need to use as view method here like this the api is ready now let's see uh, let's check it out here is postman so let me go to new localhost let's call the first get method yeah it is returning all the objects available into the question model right so this is how you can create the api of get method now let's check it out post method post and let me copy the data from here control c this is new body it should be a raw and json application json data type right just post it let me change some little bit your first nick name okay what was your nickname that's it now let me send it okay now it is created look at this the id is also returned 7 so this is how you can do both get and post as of now we haven't considered any kind of uh, authentication or authorization that that we are going to talk about maybe in next two videos maybe uh, next or maybe up next okay so don't worry about that uh, right now this is open api right now to understand okay now this is all about get and post now let's talk it about this one we did right last time using function based in last video in what in that case what we did we had three conditions if it's a get method then do this if it's a put then do this and delete then do this so same way we don't uh, need to add conditions but instead of that we need to write just methods with the name of method so poll detail view okay then df method name is like get self request but this time 
as this is uh, this URL will have ID, right? This URL will have ID, so we need to accept that into the method whichever we are defining. So ID is equal to none. Default is none, and if it is provided, then it will be assigned to the ID parameter. Okay. Now let's copy it. Copy it. Uh, okay. So first we need to have object when we have ID, right? So how can we do that in class page views? We cannot write directly uh, here. So it will be executed automatically. But ensure that we need to write one more method here that is create object. And in that case, we just need to get an argument that is ID and just paste these lines. And as this JSON response, we should have here response. Okay. And whenever you need this instance, you just call it like this instance. is equal to self dot get object and then inside that you just pass id but as with this uh, as you as you can uh, as you can look at this uh, get object method we are not returning anything right when we get the object so here instead of instance assigning to instance we just write return keyword so it will automatically return the object now let's copy from here this to line for get method instead of json response we just change it to response then put self request an id right so let me copy this all lines okay so first we need instance so instance is equal to self dot get object then inside the id now instance is there we need data as well right so for data we need to write that data is equal to request dot data we don't need to parse using json parser because this is already parsed in request object and which is sorry which is assigned to request object so if you want to look at this i can show you that in uh, implementation of that you can see let me show you just hold on a second this is uh, django risk frameworks in uh, view okay let me show you that okay no problem you can just print it out and check it out right now right now i am unable to navigate to directly there okay all right so this put method is done let me change it to response response and here instead of checking the condition we just need to write yeah delete self request and id is equal to none okay and here we need to get the instance first okay so that's it uh, this all methods are written now let's check it out all four sorry all three methods first we will get the object through the using id then we will update that object of the same id and then we will delete the same object okay so let's say for example we have added seven right and if you will see here let me change it to get so we can see all the list uh, let's make it pretty now look at this we have seven objects and seventh is what is your nickname okay so first 
I will make here 7 and show up just get and I will click on send ok what is the problem it's working fine right ok sorry slash is required yeah so as you can see we got the response with the same data when we uh, which uh, same as we, what we got uh, while creating right so id is 7 title rather than created by now if i want to modify it what i need to do i need to just use put method you also be same because id is required for put method and in body what you need to pass in shop nickname uh, what is your first name like this okay now let's send it out look at this id is same 7 right title is changed what is your first name status is active and created by is 1 now let's delete it so let's first again call it so you can see refresh data id is 7 what is your first name right now i am going to delete this 7th number object using this delete method and send so what we got the response 204 no content and now again i am going to call this method okay now you can see seventh object is gone so that this is how you can uh, build the same apis using class based views in next video uh, i am going to talk about generic api view in which you don't need to write uh, this kind of uh, methods when you are creating apis without any complexity like if you are if you want to create apis only for cloud operations only or sometimes uh, you want to do some modification while creating but the model is only one then in that case also you can use generic views so that will be helpful so we will talk about in next video so in this video that's it uh, for now uh, so thank you for watching uh, if you have any problem or uh, any kind of uh, uh, issue just let me know in comment section i will happy to i will be happy to help you thank you very much